Stevenson wins the Thriller 192 in overtime over Lycoming. Glenn Clark with Coach Gary Stewart. Coach, I, I don't know where to begin with this one. What a game it was for everybody who came out here to enjoy this. But for your team, down by 14 in the second half, to, to rally, to make the plays when they needed to, I, I would imagine you've got to be awfully proud of your guys. Yeah, we couldn't get a tourniquet on it. I mean, we were trying all kinds of things. We we went to zone. We changed our coverage, our on-ball coverage, multiple times. Um but we got an effort play. Uh, we got it under 10. Um, and we just told our guys, just keep hammering, hammering the rock. Uh, they're a hard guard. They spread you out and shoot so well from three. So you got to crowd them in their, their quickness to try to get them under control. And then if you're in rotations, they still kick it out for three. Yeah. So, so they're very, very difficult to get under control. Uh, Montague Wright goes the line with 1.2 seconds remaining, needing to make all three free throws. And it's not just that he made them. It was the calmness to me that with which he made them, that nothing was going to shake him in that situation. How special is he? he he's terrific. And uh, he hasn't missed a free throw in practice in a month of Sunday. So um, uh, that might have been the best thing that happened when he got fouled. Uh, that was a tough three. That, um, But we got we got what we wanted. We, we wanted to attack the backside and, and – um, and, and he did get a good look, um, and they, they played it well. They pressured him, and obviously um, we got a good call at the end. Sean Mayberry, I know a, a little bit of a tough time there at the end of regulation, but for the most part really establishing himself as a third offensive weapon to sort of go along with Montague and Mark Terrell. How important is that for your entire team? Well, let's not forget this is a man that was a double-figure scorer um, in this conference before for, for a year as a sophomore. Um, matter of fact, a double-figure scorer off the bench as a freshman. So um, uh, certainly capable, and he's, he's rounding into, into form. He is, uh, in my mind, as good as anybody that comes off the bench in our conference, um, and that's saying a lot because we got some really good players. But um, he was so valuable, uh, and not only at the offensive end, uh, but we changed, uh, like I told you, we – um, we did everything to try to um, get him under control, and, and uh, Sean seemed to do some good things at the top, and, and we left him there. Coach, from where we were when we talked last Saturday and the frustration that you had after that game to now being 2-0 and to start conference play, which is such a huge, huge thing here in this December portion of the schedule, uh, how good do you feel about the direction that your team is going in? Well, the encouraging thing is we can play a lot better. I mean, we've got to close the game out better. We've got to guard better. Um, and offensively, when the ball moves and we move, we get some good opportunities. At times, we, um, we take some um, shots that are to our detriment. So we've got areas that we can address and get better at, and that's what's so exciting about this team. Um, we haven't played our best basketball yet, and, uh, and we're going to get some um, – um, we're going to get some people here to, to add to our depth that uh, well, I think will um, will help us uh, down the road. This one was worth the price of admission, Coach. Congratulations on a big win today. Thank you, Glenn. He's Coach Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.